New reporting requirements apply to multi-state independent expenditures made in connection with the 2020 presidential primaries. I'm Don Michael with the FEC's Information Division, and in this video I'll show political committees, individuals, and organizations how to comply with those requirements. Under the new rules, independent expenditures that are publicly distributed or otherwise disseminated in six or more states, but do not refer to a particular state, must be reported as a single expenditure. Let's take a look at an example. Generic PAC files quarterly. It plans to spend $7,500 on an independent expenditure TV ad supporting John Doe's presidential campaign. The ad will air on February 7th in these seven states. Having triggered the new rules, the PAC must determine which of those states has the next primary and file based on the reporting dates for that election. In this example, New Hampshire has the next primary, February 11th. Since the ad costs more than $1,000 and will run just four days before that election, Generic PAC must file a 24-hour report. Generic PAC must disclose its multi-state independent expenditure as a single expenditure on Schedule E of FEC Form 3X within 24 hours of the ad's broadcast. The committee checks this box on the form to indicate that it's a 24-hour report. It also lists the date the ad ran and its total cost and identifies New Hampshire as a state with the next primary. In addition, the committee includes memo text listing all seven states where the ad aired. Lastly, the committee discloses the expenditure a second time on its next regularly scheduled FEC report. Individuals and organizations that make multi-state independent expenditures follow similar procedures, but file using FEC Form 5. For more information on multi-state independent expenditures, contact the FEC's Information Division at 1-800 424-9530 or email us at info at fec.gov.